In this example, we're going to load our customer data and we're going to split it up into two output files, one for US customers and one for non-US customers. So let's use our existing graph as a starting point. And uh, we also have been asked to sort the uh, output files, so we'll actually start off by doing the sort based on the input data. Uh, once it's been sorted, we're going to filter it. We're going to use this ext filter component to do that. I'll explain how that works in a second. And then finally we're going to write out the data. So I'm going to copy and paste this. So we've got two output files. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to actually join up the edges. So the each of these components knows what its input and output format should be. Okay, we're going to multi-select those now. Right click, select metadata and select our customer metadata format. Okay, now let's go and uh, start setting some of the parameters up. So uh, this doesn't need changing, that's reading from the customers file. We want to sort, so we're going to sort, press on the uh, button there. We can specify here the, uh, the sort order, so we're going to have first of all by country, and then within country by company name. Okay, that. Okay, to that. Then it's going to come on and filter. So let's open up the property for the filter. And here I'm going to have to move this into my screen capture area. A second. Let's pull up the bottom two. Okay, there we are. So I can type my script directly. We'll learn more about scripting in the advanced section. I want to say here where country, now I click in here and press space, equals and then finally we'll say uh, in double quotes USA. Click on OK and that's our criteria defined. You can see it's validated here. Expression is valid. So we'll click on OK and that's written back into the properties dialog and that's that one done. Now the filter component outputs through two ports. The first port is for data which meet that criteria, so for USA customers, and the second port is for those which don't. Um, so that's all set up. Now all we have to do is to configure the output files. We'll double click on here and we'll change the output file name to be, um, let's just change this to US customers, click on OK, and this one, double click on there, and we'll change this to be, um, let's just call this non-US customers, and that's done. Okay, so um, what we'll do now is to uh, we let's de let's uh, debug it. So we're going to click on these ones here. Click on these join lines. Right click, enable debug, and now let's run our graph. That's the one. Okay, so that's run through successfully, and you can see the number of records that have been passed down each of the uh, edges. Um, let's. I think we know what comes in here, but let's just take a look. Anyway, we'll see here that we've got data unsorted. So you can see here the country order is pretty random. Comes out of here sorted, so let's click on here to view the data that's coming out of the other side. And again, we'll go into the country field, and we'll see we've got everything nicely sorted by country. And within country, if we take, for instance, go down to the bottom, USA, you can see within country by company name. And then finally here, let's click on this edge. And this should be USA records. And indeed, we've got US records only. And these should be non-US records. Let's have a look at that. And there we have our non-US records. So we should scroll down to the bottom and not find USA. Correct. And then uh, just the last thing we want to check is that in our data output folder uh, that the files have been written and there they are. So I could double click on one of these and there you can see we've got, uh, let's look at the US one, should be less. There we go. Um, so that's a good example of a slightly more sophisticated transformation.